there. Now, I got stuck under the map in Subnautica. Here is some context. I go on these void vacations. I'll mention it more in a couple of videos, but the point is, is that in creative, I went far out into the void, and when my Cyclops teleported back, it was halfway through the ground. I sadly couldn't get my sea moth out, but I could just swim around. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a couple of Subnautica secrets, and how the game internally works. Well, not internally, but you get what I mean. Also, I'm voicing over the footage, okay? Just to let you know. Anyways, just get right into it. Alright, so this is the gameplay. As you can see, I'm in the lava zone below the aurora. If I keep on going down, my vision gets clearer and clearer. Also, do you see the pink thing in the aurora? I'll show you that later on, but anyways, I can even see the surface from here. I'm near the sea emperor. I'll show you a good look right about now. Yeah, but that's what the sea emperor looks like, in case you didn't know. Anyways, let's just look at my photos. So just scrolling down to the bottom right now. That was before the glitch. I just found this under the map. There's a lot of these. Very odd. Ignore that. Here's the pink stuff from the Aurora. It's even kind of animated. The pink squares will just keep on dropping down. And you can see it from very far away. I don't know what it is though. This is just more under the Aurora with that bit. Now I got this next one from the void. I think, I don't fully know. This is what sea treasures look like underneath. This cool safe shallows photo. These acid mushrooms completely under the map. Trust me, they are under the map. This is inside the alien gun. Just a bit on how it works. One of the weirdest things I saw was this. A purple tablet. Underground, just nearly breaching the surface. Trust me, I swam around this thing. I don't get why it's underground. Underneath of a blood kelp root. A photo that I got from the mountains. I don't know why I took it, maybe because of the boulders. The tree mushroom base is actually hollow. I don't know why that surprised me. Weird thing I found in the kelp forest. Underneath an alien vent. Bad image of the sea emperor, but this is how it works. Peeper goes in, disappears in sand, and comes back from the other tube. Here's the bad image again, mostly because it's red. The underneath of an anchor pod. This is how brine works in Subnautica. Here's a bow on, underneath the large skeleton, underneath the sea dragon. We also have this image and this one underneath the alien facility. More of how brine works, except in my opinion, better. Just some underneath geysers. And the weirdest thing, the wall. In the lava zone, there's this massive rock box. It's not the void. I went down it, it has a roof. I got lost, it gets bigger the more you go up, it's so weird. Underneath another facility, in the lava zone specifically, obviously. Photo of the sea emperor's lair. As you saw earlier, a photo of the surface looking up. Here, actually good footage of the sea emperor. The sea emperor is so big that its tentacles go under the ground. I am currently going into the box right now from the footage. I will see you when I'm in there, but right now you can listen to this music. Okay, and we're in. It looks so much weirder without the bright lighting. We should activate now. As you can see, this is a sea emperor more close up. Thankfully, if you touch the platform, it only activates so we can get a good look. Now that I look at it, the sea emperor kind of has a beard. I don't know why I just noticed that. I may be stupid. Let's activate the animation right here. And that's how they move. Tentacles come out of the sand. And this is the animation from the side. This is all the secrets I've found so far. Someone else has probably mentioned it in another video. But let me have this, okay? There's a couple of Subnautica secrets for you. Okay, peace. 